Yo, 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 big catch back up in here, man. We got some, we got something new for y'all, man. We got some academics being exposed, and he been glazing, man. Y'all see him glazing party next door, man? Y'all already know DJ Academics and Drake be having toenail fights and shit, man. But we, we about to check, we about to check this out. Academics being exposed. Him glazing and everything, man. It, 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 it's got to stop. You know what I mean? It's got to stop. It's got to stop. It's got to stop. And yeah, we're we going to see what's up with these dog allegations and all these little allegations and all that. You know what I'm saying? Without further ado, y'all know I don't like holding y'all. Let's get, get, get it. Yo, I'm here with PND, man. Party next door to GOAT. Put Listen, on man. Question. King R&B. Big the act in the King building. King R&B. What the fuck are you even talking about? Yo, You're not I, making no money, making nobody money. Ah, talk that ex, shit! I put your ex on, I put everybody ah, on. You ain't getting tell nothing. Him. I don't even know. Yo. You can't make a bitch famous for nothing. If it's not a sex tape, you can't do shit, homie. Yo, I'm trying to get party not to be too humble. Yo, you hanging around Big Act? That's the Big Act energy right there. But it's really Big Party. The biggest. Big P&D, man. Fuck. God. Yo, Look that. Take a picture from right here, though. What are we going to do with energy? Oh, all right, never mind. We have. Ah, see, at, at, see, at, at, at got something up on his sleeve. He really want an interview from these these guys. He want a Drake interview. He want a party next door interview from these guys. So he 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 got something up on his sleeve here. You know what I mean? Let 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 let's get it, y'all. Go down in the hallway to my guest bedroom, and I see the girl, and I said, "Oh shit!" But I noticed this couple things. First of all, she naked. Second of all, her hair is like like frizzy and shit like that. This is the summertime. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. I think we got something new, y'all. I think we got something. We got something. It says Drake, Lapdog, DJ, <laughs> Lapdog. <laughs> Grape. Well, okay, let's see. Y'all, not DJ Academics threatening to expose every single male rapper in the industry because he got slammed with a grape lawsuit. DJ Academics recently got sued by a woman who claimed he tricked her into coming to his house only to blank her and then let his friends do the same thing to her. On top of that, he went on the internet and started spreading bare lies about her. Well, it looks like it all backfired because word on the street is that police have more than enough evidence to lock Ack up and throw away the keys. And let me tell you, this man is out here panicking and threatening to expose Drake, Diddy, and the like if they don't step in and make this little problem go away child we better find whoever is writing this script and give them a million bucks because you literally cannot make this up but what does ak really know about these rappers and is he about to have his own surviving academic saga let's break this down let me tell you this let me tell you this about everybody in the industry i'm gonna tell you all this right now if ak ever goes down y'all all go down with me ah! no <laughs> look he pulled the nino brown I don't know how many of y'all seen new jack city but young Youngin's out there. It's a movie called New Jack City with Wesley Snipes. It's a court scene. He said, if I go down, I'm bringing everybody down with me. Pop the suit. He popped his collar. Said, shit. That's what Act doing right now. He one of them. He the type get in trouble. If he go down, he bringing everybody down with him. Look. This about everybody in the industry. I'm going to tell you all this right now. If Act ever goes down, y'all all go down with me. Because I hold no secrets for nobody. Ooh. That, that was a little crazy right there. Hold on, hold on. Wow. Hold on. Damn, he ain't just say that. Baby, when Cat Williams said, this is the year all the weirdos and the creeps in the industry are getting exposed, we sure as heck didn't expect that DJ Academics would be the one doing the exposing of all people. But here we are. For those who missed it, DJ Academics just got slammed with an explosive lawsuit that, from what folks are saying, has the potential to end his career and send him to prison. The lawsuit is by a woman named Fauzia Abashe, who, according to court documents, is claiming that DJ Academics blanked her after giving her substances and then allowed his two friends to do the same thing to her. Because of these things she claims he did to her, she's suing for negligent infliction of emotional distress and defamation. So it looks like this Fauzia first met Ak in 2021 on social media, and maybe they had a little thing that just kind of fizzled out at some point. I don't think this the same girl he was at that spot where y'all remember? Wait, where the two girls was fighting each other in the, in the hallway. And he was like, I'm big act. You better calm down. I'm big act. <laughs> you know I don't think this up. 
By July 2022, a year after they met, they weren't speaking. However, according to the court documents, it was around this time that Ock reached out to Fauzia and asked her to come to his place. And she didn't have any reason to think it was suspicious because she had been to his house plenty of times before that. And he always sent an Uber to pick her up from her house in Pennsylvania to his crib in New Jersey. And in the lawsuit, she actually added the receipt to the Uber ride he booked her to come over to his place. When she arrived at Axe Place, she met two of his friends, identified as John Doe 1 and John Doe 2, and they talked for a little while before she was invited to Axe Hot Tub. According to the lawsuit, Axe friends gave Fauzia alcohol that made her feel extremely lightheaded and dizzy. John Doe 1 then oh. allegedly became very handsy as he aggressively made advances toward her before tossing her into the nearby pool. She then tried to get out of the pool, but John Doe 1 didn't let her go, and he allegedly proceeded to do the R word on her. The lawsuit claims that Fauzia has memories of fighting off her attackers but feeling extremely weak. After wow. Wow. Man, y'all subscribe, man. Y'all subscribe. I'm up 2 a.m. 2 2 for y'all, man. I'm up 2 a.m. for y'all, man. Oh, snap. That's the blinking light thing everybody was talking about. Oh. Oh, it stopped. Oh, that's the blinking light thing. Hold on. Oh, that's it. I can see it. That's it right there. Oh, snap. We're going to get back. Matter of fact, I'm going to download some TikToks about exposing that blinking light thing. Some of y'all probably don't know what's going on with it. But I'm, I'm exposed. We're going to get to this. We're going to get to We're going to get through this. We're going to get through this. After the kit proved Ak had definitely been with Fauzia the previous night, police were able to get pictures of Fauzia's arm, back, behind, and legs, which clearly showed that bruises had been inflicted on her. There were also text messages included in the lawsuit from later that day where Ak told Fauzia to get tested, saying he would do the same. Fauzia allegedly found the statement odd, and according to the lawsuit, Hola, who told, who to told get Fauzia tested? to get tested, saying he would do the same. Fauzia allegedly Hola. told Fauzia to get tested, saying he would do Oh, so he telling her to go get tested, Bill. Wow. Do she got receipts? The same. Fauzia allegedly found the statement odd, and according to the lawsuit, the text messages were further proof that academics, who has not slept with Miss Abash for over a year, engaged in unprotected intercourse with her that night. Because if he really wasn't involved in the whole incident, why did he want both of them to get tested? On top of that, the lawsuit claims police made Fauzia wear a wire and do a recorded wire call with academics, during which he graphically recounted and admitted to having intercourse with her, even going as far as to describe her parts. This phone call allegedly led police to obtain a warrant for the surveillance footage he had allegedly shown Fauzia, along with other evidence. Interestingly, Fauzia claimed academics had tried to dispose of several items like bedsheets and so on in a dumpster near his office in an attempt to destroy evidence of the attack. Fauzia claimed she chose not to press charges and instead just kind of tried to move past the whole thing and keep it low-key. That is until DJ Academics brought it up again in a live stream. But he didn't just stop at talking about it, oh no, he made sure to tell everyone that he invited this woman into his house and that she allowed these two men to run a train on her. He even claimed he wasn't in the house when everything went down, that he was asleep at home, and when he woke up the next morning, he found Fauzia having an John Doe's 1 and 2. My homies wake me up on some shit like, yo, act, we leaving. They're like, yo, lock the door because we're leaving. I said, damn, y'all leaving? They're leaving at like 4 or 5 a.m. All right, bet. I go and I go lock the door. Then they say to me when I'm locking the door, they say, oh, by the way, that girl you invited, yo, she down there at the other end of your house in the guest bedroom. So I go down the hallway to my guest bedroom and I see the girl. And I said, oh, shit. But I noticed this couple things. First of all, she naked. Second of all, her hair is like like frizzy and sh What movie that that remind y'all of? It remind me of uh, Players Club. Y'all remember when Junior, Junior, it was Junior Bachelor Party. And an and, 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 uh, uh, old girl got her little cousin to come um, dance for him. And Junior, and, 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 and when Ice Cube came out, he was like, yo, we, we understand. No means no. Because Junior had, you know what I'm saying? Mess, mess with the lady, had messed her up. 
That's what this sound like. Like that. This is summertime. Almost like she kind of went in the pool type. Shit. I got a pool like it's a big. Ass pool. I remember saying like, damn, what was I doing when I was sleeping? Type. Shit. She was like, oh, shit, now we were just having fun. Blah 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 blah. Here's the thing. I got cameras everywhere in my crib. She's telling me they were just chilling, having fun, waiting for me. Type. Shit. But I'm sleeping and I'm asleep from like 9 a.m. 9 p.m. since I got in the crib and they don't wake me up till 4 a.m. That's how many hours? Seven hours. When I look at my camera in the morning, dang, the shorty was getting like I, I don't even I don't even like. The, the, she was getting trained by my two bands, like on my pool deck the night before when I'm sleeping. I'm dead ass. This is what happened. I mean, this guy did everything he could to slander this woman and tarnish her character after knowing what he and his friends did to her, allegedly. Now, y'all. Hey, y'all females. I'm, I'm going to tell you, I, I mean, I, I expressed this to females so many times. Like, yo, men are not your friends. Like, stop trying to be a homie. Stop trying to be one of the guys. Stop trying to be one of the guys. I'm telling you, I better stop that. Y'all gotta stop that. I was just watching something uh yesterday on that. The female, she was on the podcast letting her know, like, yo, these women trying to be guys. Like, they trying to be dudes. And, you know, a lot of them, a lot of these rapper women getting off. A lot of them, you know what I'm saying, trying to hang around with the guys. They getting off. Y'all gotta stop, man. Be ladies. I'll know how messy DK Academics is on a regular day, but with a story as juicy as the one he was telling, he and his trifling fans had a field day piling on that poor woman and bullying her across the internet. After Ak made several defamatory statements publicly against her, she actually went on live to try and defend herself and tell her side of the story. But with Ak's millions of fans across different social media platforms trying to bully her, her response kind of got drowned out. Then Ak clapped back at her, saying he didn't do it even though the R kit she did at the police station reportedly has actual physical evidence that he did it oh she did a kit and it got evidence see she ain't got no big big platform academics got a big big platform he got a platform so he probably sent all his glazers out after her soon as she try to say something soon as she try to say something he, all his glazers go out there and be like no nah, you lying you lying you uh-uh act ain't do none of that Baby, I don't know where Ak gets his brand of audacity from, but he needs to share his plug with the class. And now that everything is backfiring, Ak is trying to act like someone is out there to get him. See, Fauzia Abashe is being represented by Tyrone Blackburn, the same lawyer representing Lil Rod. Oh, he look young. We got a lawyer. We got a lo young lawyer. That's what I'm talking about. Do your thing, young man. ...against Diddy. It turns out this is actually Blackburn's thing. Like, he typically defends people suing these rich and famous men for SA-related offenses. So, you know he knows his onions. Like the Lil Rod lawsuit, the lawsuit against academics had receipts upon receipts, baby. Like, they really got him good. What's that? What's that? I know this act room, this act room right here. Let me see. How in the f this your house? Your girl and your friends over, but you go to sleep and let her drink with them. Nah. Oh. That's the girl in the back. Yo. Hold on. This was a great move by Drake to remind Oh, me nah. So he walk in. I thought he was sleep. Hold up. It was a little clip right there. Let me see. Something got edited. Shit. Yeah, it's scared. Some guy. This is onions. Like the Lil Rod lawsuit, the lawsuit against academics. But had she was screaming while he was in the, going in the room. 
That can't be the dogs. They can't say that's the dogs because the dog right there. He said he was asleep, though. Oh, she's saying something. I got to put this audio in the uh, FL Studio program. See if I could get some of the... See if I could get some sounds up out of this. We gonna get louder sounds, y'all. We gonna get some louder sounds, y'all. This was a great nah nah nah. Y'all, let me know how y'all feel about that. It, 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 is that AI audio? Is that some added on audio? Is that at crib? That's at crib. What y'all think? What y'all think? We got we got to investigate y'all. We gonna put that. We gonna run that through the uh, music program. See, we can get some of that. Get some of that sound. Cause she was saying something. She was saying something too. We're gonna see what's going on. You ain't the jig is up, buddy. You ain't getting off that that uh quick. You friends, you want you glazing Drake for a reason. I know y'all be having toenail fights with each other. Move by Drake to remind y'all all how much y'all motherfucking love him, right? Even if you want to say Drake lost the battle between him and Kendrick, Drake has been given so many priceless moments over the years, been the most consistent given so many great songs that I think he believes that if, if there is any hate is, is temporary, but to try to subside some of the hate, what he's doing is like, yo, remember all these great songs I gave y'all the way to bring it back. Let me show you the behind the scenes of what it took for me to make it. And I think, I think this was an amazing move to get people to be like, Oh wow, this is crazy. Like with, with all the, they Drake and them recorded all that footage because they know people is going to start accusing him of of not writing his stuff. So he said, OK, let's go in. Let's go in the studio. Just act like, you know, I'll be writing this stuff for real. We go just going to have the music already laid out. The music already be laid out. We heard the right. We heard the they ain't even reference tracks. That's just how ghostwriters write for each other. Ghostwriters don't write on a piece of paper. They they make the music and then. He just listened to the music all day and do it like that. So they said, okay, we're going to record in the studio. We're going to videotape me acting like I'm... He already laid them tracks down. And man, he not fooling us. He, know, he knew one day these artists was going to get together and be like, damn, bro, don't even be writing this shit. He don't even be writing his own shit. So they got prepared, man. They got, they got, they got assets to protect and stuff. So yeah, they prepared. Act like he be in the studio writing and, you know what I mean? Ah. Respect, Kendrick was just a big-ass hater, you know what I mean? Like, we could say the battle went whatever way, but the nigga was just hating on a lot of things that we actually like as fans. Yo! Hold up, let's get it back. 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 Great songs I gave y'all. The way to bring it back, let me show you the behind the scenes of what it took for me to make it. And I think, I think. He's so confident. You see, with Drake, see, listen, man, listen. Drake, I know, like, I, I, be call, I be talking to Drake. The reason why, man, get out of here with that bullshit. I think this was an amazing move to get people to be like, oh, wow, this is crazy. Like, with, with all due respect, Kendrick was just a big-ass hater, you know what I mean? Like, we could say the battle went whatever way, but the nigga was just hating on a lot of things that we actually like as fans. Like, if you sit here and say you don't like when Drake rap over Atlanta beats, well, you don't get... You don't get Versace. You don't get like a shit ton of records. So like, let's just kind of let's bring it back in. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, he's gonna skip over the fact that Dot said he liked Drake with the melody. He don't like Drake when he acts up. Let's get it. My, my mouth made a couple songs. Think he hot now. He just even Drake doesn't have complete autonomy on his own music. You know, he's been posting a bunch of unreleased, seemingly free music. You know, he dropped 100 gigs, but he's been posting a bunch of stuff. So he posted something to his Instagram, right? And it was supposedly like some unknown, unnamed song, but it's one of his songs. 
And essentially what happened is that Universal Music Group actually put a claim in to take down that song. It's kind of ironic because it's Drake's song. Drake's putting it up. And his own label is saying, take this down. That's because Drake don't own Drake. Listen, if some people give you $400 million, best believe, you better believe there's something under their sleeve. You best to believe there's something under their sleeve. 400 mil? What? You think you're going to be running around here beefing and sh You think you're going to be doing little battle raps? No. <laughs> you just running around here getting, getting murdered, boy. If you just got $400 million from a Universal Music Group, they want to make sure no penny goes accounted for. Why? Because Drake's music streams the most. So that's money. That's the most amount of money that this label could possibly get within rap. And they're not going to have people get this music for free. So, again, they're basically telling Drake, no, nigga. We know that you just went through a battle and you're trying to do this little PR thing or you're trying to, like, be cool and edgy and drop some of your music for free. But this ain't how it go, buddy. You're going to have to send us your music. We have you in contract. It's our shit. Okay. Super soap. I heard it's coming out. Now, there's some interesting shit going on here. I hear the, the Super Soak track is coming out, music video included. One caveat. There's no little Yachty on it. Only confusing because it was Yachty's song initially. Drake sent that to Yachty for it to be on Yachty's concrete project. Yachty sent it to Kai. They previewed it. Damn. Y'all look, see, he looking at it like that. I'm looking at it like Drake seeing that Yachty had a hit. He said, oh, I need this. I need to get back from that Kendrick Lamar ass whooping. So let, let, come on, Yachty, let me, let, me, let me buy this off you, man. Let me buy this off you. What you want it? Yachty was like, man, look, man. I don't like the reviews, which was what you got going on, Mr. Hotspot, with, with all this. And you know what? Just take me off the song, man. You can have this shit. Yachty, look, Yachty smartened up. Man, listen, man, you ain't fucking up my stocks, B. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look like Yachty had tried to get it clear, couldn't get it clear, because apparently the guy, Mr. Hotspot, wouldn't clear it because he said it was too vile. And Drake don't even know I'm telling y'all this, too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I haven't even asked Drake about this. Uh, but I've heard that this song is coming out. I saw something that could... Academics think he Drake, bro. He think he Drake, man. Be a music video. And it eerily matches a silhouette. I seen Drake post. Everybody's saying, Ack, Drake might not be Drake no more. They're saying that Drake might be flopping. I, I am watching the... Drake ain't Draken. <laughs> Drake is not Draken no more numbers of the honey gig thing now, people are wondering what the sales are on this are going to be now me personally i don't care technically on how these are going to do first week now granted a three track ep could could make the billboard 200 i don't expect these to be a top 10 song i expect drake to have a top 20 song which i believe should be it's up if only it's up which, by the way, there's some streaming data on it already. If this is the only one that made the charts, I, we might have some issues. We might have some issues. Okay? Let me look at the, the, the streams at least on Spotify has been looking. <laughs> Not the strongest, I'm going to be honest. Look at <laughs> they put the Kevin Hart drink. Five million. Yeah, even a five million. I, I, I think Drake does better than that. I think Drake does better than that. On an announcement. Yo! See, I, I think Drake, he... Yeah! Mm. Definitely still will chart. <laughs> but even the Lotto one is actually actually the lowest. And they have even... Yeah, it's the lowest. He, it's only he Drake million. analytics, now, analytics granted, guy. Two is a lot of fucking strings, but, you know, we're talking about Drake, right? It's not oh, the what? best streams, I'm going to be honest. But these were supposed to be freebie songs. They're now up on streaming. 
it feels like a different climate. Man, yo. Hey, we got to see what those screams is about, man. We got not the streams, the screams. No, I be eating watermelon. Hey, look. Y'all who be getting mad at me because I be eating while, while I'm recording. I do that for a reason. You know what I'm saying? When you look at the documentaries and how they force like cigarettes and stuff on us, they, they come out with commercials. Whatever they want us to buy something, they come out with commercials on it and they keep forcing it on us. So it's called the, the power of imagery, right? So I try to eat healthy to show y'all the, the, the image of eating healthy. So that way, instead of you, you know, it hopefully it can make an impression on your mind. And before you go and get them chicken, that fake chicken from Popeye's and Chick-fil-A and all of that, you'll say, damn, I got an urge for some watermelon. And you'll go to the grocery store, get you some watermelon, get you some grapes or something instead of that, that chicken. You know what I mean? But when you see something, when you see something, it starts to, it starts to, uh, you start to resonate with it. That's how, that's how, that's the power of imagery. I'm telling you, that stuff be working. If they didn't come out, look, if they, if they didn't come out with them, uh, them commercials about cigarettes and all that, trying to make it seem like it's cool and it's the, the, the thing to do and all of that stuff, they ain't come out, people wouldn't even be smoking, smoking cigarettes like that. They wouldn't even be smoking them cigarettes, them, uh, them Newports and all of that like that. It, it was the imagery. I'm telling you, it was the imagery. But yeah, man, hey, enough of that. Look, that voice, we got to try to isolate that voice to see what she was saying. Because as she was screaming, she was saying something too. This, yo, this is nasty work, man. This is nasty work right here. Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comment section. Y'all subscribe too. Y'all subscribe so we can go ahead and get to this giveaway. That 20K giveaway. That's right. It's going to be five winners this time, y'all. It's going to be five winners. I ain't going to tell y'all how much it is, but it's going to be a lot better than the last two giveaways. I'm telling y'all, y'all going to gonna want to stick around for this. Y'all going to want to stick around for this one right here. But yeah, y'all let me know how y'all feel about the video. Comment. Get these likes up. What they be saying? What them YouTubers be saying? Get them likes up. Let's get to a thousand likes, man. Let's get to a thousand likes. Big Kish signing out. I'm gone, man.